So over a weekend, I decided to build a new tool called Secure Tree, which is a NeoVim plugin that allows me to search code for security vulnerabilities or code issues, or maybe code quality based issues, and do this for pretty much any language using TreeSitter. TreeSitter is a fantastic parser generator tool that allows you to parse code and actually create concrete syntax trees or abstract syntax trees of your code. And then you can use a feature called pattern matching to actually write queries for that. So you can query against this AST to find particular things that are of interest. Uh, in our case, what we're going to be doing is looking for security based issues. So let's take an example of this. I have here in my research project using uh, Rust SQLX, where I could find instances where SQL injection could occur. And I wanted to be able to highlight specific things inside NeoVim. Now, initially I was using grep, but this was kind of a crude way of doing it. And I wanted it really in my IDE so that technically any developer or any security researcher, as they're re going through code, they can highlight specific areas that are of interest to them. So now let's see what this plugin can do. So let's now go and open NeoVim and edit, let's play our main file of our project. And you can see here, there's a bunch of stuff. There's some small changes from my previous research, but the really interesting thing here now is that you're getting syntax highlighting, etc. But as you go down in the source code, you'll actually start seeing where you're highlighted of where issues may or may not occur. And the interesting thing about this is you can start getting diagnostics data. So if you're using something like trouble or any other mechanisms, you will actually be able to see that, hey, there's actually a problem here. Some of these are actually based off of, hey, um, we've got a SQL injection here, or it might be something as simple as, hey, you're using an unwrap, for example, or maybe an unsafe block is a good example. And you can write queries to do this. And what happens is this is blazingly fast because actually what's happening under the hood is we're actually using the native tree sitter plugin in this NeoVim plugin ourselves to actually just use our queries, write them into it, execute the queries and return results based off of those queries. And if there are results, so in the case of R1, there's actually four results. There's one here that showcases that actually this format string here looks really suspicious. We also have another instance where we're finding that this query reference is maybe problematic as well. And then you can see here in a good example of, hey, you're using an uh, unwrap. And if you do use unwrap, for example, you may cause the application to panic. And the really awesome thing about the plugin is that this is all done live in the ID as well. So for example, let's say that I comment out this block and then maybe just add in a static string where I'm doing a select from users and I'm just going to leave it as this and you save it automatically detect based on the rule that you've set up or the query you've set up. It'll automatically detect whether or not this is vulnerable or not. And if we, for example, just go ahead and replace that and save, you can see now it's re-highlighting that block. And the really beauty of using TreeSitter is as long as you've got the TreeSitter parser installed for a particular language, you can write queries to any language at all without needing to have to build an independent tool for each language. In my case here, I've just built a simple query to find the first argument of an eval statement in Python. That is a couple of lines of a query. And then suddenly you're finding every instance where this occurs. So you may want to investigate if this is a static string, it's completely fine. But if it's a reference to a variable or something like that, maybe it's worth a quick investigation of it. Like most NeoVim plugins, it's written in Lua and you can contribute back to this part where add new support for new features. Or if you want to write your own queries, you can write it in a S expression or a Lisp like syntax where you can explicitly pinpoint exact locations that you want to um, explore in your code. And of course, the last thing that I will add is that at the time of this recording, this plugin is still privated, but going forward, this will be open source so that anybody can write queries for it. They can have their own personal queries or they can contribute back to the collection of queries I'm going to be starting to build into this repository from maybe other languages that I want to investigate and create queries for. There are limitations to how, what you can and can't do. There's no data flow analysis, but at least it gives you a really good mechanism to build queries to investigate code spots that you really want to look into. So I hope you found this all interesting and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Take care.